What's up, water signs? It's your girl, Dominique, with Empathic Guidance, and I'm back with another video for you guys today. And today, I'm back with your weekend vibes for the weekend of the 28th through the 30th of January 2022, okay? All right, guys, so without further ado, we're going to hop right in. For the signs of Cancer, Pisces, as well as Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the North Node. For the weekend, vibes was coming in. Holy Divine Spirit, Angels, Ancestors, and Spirit Guides to the Highest Light Light. Please use me as a vessel of clear, concise, channeled messages for water signs as it pertains to the weekend vibes and what's coming in for water signs, Cancer, Pisces, as well as Scorpio. Happiness and success and deception. All right, so let's get one more for water sign. I mean, of course, <laughs> of course, of course, of course, you know, there's going to be people that's going to be happy about your success and then there's going to be people that are not, okay? All right, and again, we always get in the power of three. We always get in three people. You know, that's always looking in on your progress, whether you're succeeding or, you know, achieving or not. But prosperity is coming in. A cycle has been perpetuating itself, and I feel like you guys are finally reaching the light. You guys have so much power within the palm of your hands. Some of you guys can definitely be healers, okay? Because whenever I see light beaming from the hands like that, then it indicates that I that someone can heal, Heal others through their touch. All right? So, Ascended Masters are here, okay? You got two major Ascended Masters around you, okay? Between, um... Jesus Christ, Buddha, Hilarion, and Saint Germain. Okay, so you guys can become into, into mediumship gifts or you just got heavy protection. I'm hearing threshold guardians. So yeah, you got friends too. So it's all good. All right, and these are real friends. All right, so you guys are attracting in your soul tribe. That could be the reason why some people are upset. So maybe these are people you left behind, you know, and they just can't get over it. So they just, whatever the case is, it's like um, they trying to catch you while you slipping. Alright, whoever these individuals are, they mad because they couldn't keep you in a state of victim mentality. You know, they couldn't keep you cornered off. They couldn't keep you, um, like, tucked away, towed away. Like, these people was hoping that their manipulation tactics was going to work on you to the point where you wouldn't, like, support new friends, positive circles, people that you can network with and actually get somewhere with, new love interests, you know, positive co-workers, supportive people. These people were not wanting you to have that in your life. And you left them behind because they were deceptive. Now, that was in your past. It seems like even cut, cutting people off, cutting people off that you might have even heard through the grapevine. It could even be two people. Because, honestly, she here shocked. She looked shocked to be overhearing them talking. Okay? So, that's the thing. Like, either you guys found out through a download or somebody definitely informed you to let you know that um, you had deception in your immediate space. And you guys uh, removed that however. You know what I'm saying? However you did, you removed that. You removed these individuals. And now, because of that, you guys are presently in the energy of happiness and success, okay? And celebration. You know, people that are genuinely happy for your success rather than pretending to be so that they can get a piece of whatever or, you know, you know how people do. People, they won't even really like you, but they'll just be around you for what they can get from you, gain from you. Taking your kindness for weakness. You guys are definitely um, entering into a cycle where you're going to be a lot more logical. So I don't know if y'all got air in y'all chart or not, but um, for those of you that do or embody any other element outside of just water, y'all tapping into those other elements. If you guys are a water sign with a lot of fire in y'all chart, then y'all just, this is y'all season to go get. It's not the season to sit down. It's not the season to seek approval, even though you got plenty. Yes, you do got people that's going to naysay, and that's going to come. It comes with the territory of rising to the top. They say that 
success is lonely and they also say the man that knows the the most or the man that knows more than others normally gets isolated or no, normally experiences loneliness okay but again you do have angelic support from ascended masters okay and like i said specifically in the near future i'm definitely seeing um you know at least two of the four major ascended masters working heavily with you all right so let's go ahead and see what's coming in for cancer Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the North Node for the weekend vibes as it pertains to this spread spirit. Yeah, but I'm just saying y'all basking in happiness, man. And I feel like even this is the energy that you have to embody. Like, if you don't feel that this is close for you, because I feel like energetically, you guys can feel this blessing coming. If it's you, you know, you, you would know. And for some of you, it might be unexpected, but I feel like spirit been gearing you up for this change, for this elevation, because you could have been going through the storm. You could have been running into a lot of deceptive people. In every aspect of your life, it might have seemed like you was a part of assimilation where it just seemed like everybody had the same energy in a different body. And you like, it got to be something that I'm meant to learn from this specific energy signature because even people that was never like that all of a sudden became a certain way and it's like wait a minute why everywhere i go from work to home to over my family's house to visit friends to out of town i'm experiencing the same type of person well it was meant for you to learn a lesson from these deceptive individuals it could have been boundaries strengthening your discernment trusting your intuition um the ability to Take heed to red flags rather than ignore them. You name it. Whatever the lesson was specifically for you, for some of you, it was a self-worth thing. You know, not allowing yourself to be around just anybody just for the sake of having company or not being alone. Okay, so let's see. What's coming in for the sign of cancer as it pertains to this spread? Yeah, okay. You definitely, definitely had individuals around you. That could have been, you know, secretly hoping that things that you were working towards would fail. All right? And these were people that were trying to pursue you romantically, Cancer. Okay? So that's what I'm saying. And you got to watch it because I don't know why, but I'm just getting a lot of things about, you know, people putting things in drinks. But this is the type of person that will spike your drink, you know? And it's deception is here, so you can't put it past this person. But whoever this is, they may have romantic interest towards you. You may not be paying this person any attention. That could be making them upset. They can be seeing you get some type of success. They can be seeing that you protected, that you're making new friends, that possibly new people are voicing interest in you romantically. You know, and you taking leaps of faith like they see you being brave and putting yourself out there. Maybe this person was needing to be brave and put themselves out there to get some type of attention for you, cause, from you because they could have been trying to get attention from you in the wrong way. Um, and still, I see that this person is very seductive and kind of sneaky as well. Well, we get in deception here, so that's the first indicator. But whoever this is, it's like they would do anything to get you back. And I don't know what the get back is, if it's like revenge or this person want a reconciliation. But honestly, they don't seem like they have your best interest at heart, Cancer. You know, um, this person may definitely invite you out for drinks over the weekend or they could come over to your house with a bottle. Whoever this is, it's like when y'all have good times, it's really good times. And then, if you know, the intimacy or the chemistry between you guys can be really popping. You know, because this person is coming up as somebody that's hard to resist in your life. You find this person to be very charming. They could have dimples and a nice smile, thick eyebrows, um, a goatee, you know, for some of you. You know what I'm saying? This person could have hair. They could dress well. They coming up as a hierophant. This person could be a Taurus or Aries. Aries, Taurus, Cusp, or Aquarius, Okay. But it's like, yo, guys are just looking like, are you really going to take that leap? You know what I'm saying? Like, we, you manifested new friends. You manifested success into your life. And this person was deceptive in the past. You know? <sighs> 
for some of you, you could be like an influencer. You guys can be like um, just anything, like a motivational speaker, but you guys can be more on the religious end, you know, or just spiritual end or whatever. But I feel like you guys do work for the divine for sure because I'm getting a lot of energy of doves. And it's like doves around people. So that's making me feel like that energy. And then we already got Ascended Master. So for a lot of you that Ascended Master that's in your immediate space on a normal basis is definitely God. Somebody want to come in and apologize. They've been looking at you like on TV, like you guys are doing something publicly on TV, um, on the internet, a podcast. But I feel like it's something that this person is looking at because they are very focused. Focused and fixated. This person think you picture perfect cancer. Or they picturing something when it comes down to you. Yes, you see what I'm saying? Like, even here it's a television. But this person is making a television with their hands. They, I don't know. Oh, oh, oh my God. Like, this person is like they, they smitten for you. But at the same time, it's like... We got the Two of Swords and the Eight of Swords, which is the Ten of Swords. It's like this person is contemplating how they're going to keep you stuck, boxed in. Keep their grip on you. And once again, it's like with the Fool and the, um, the Knight of Cups kind of coming up here, it's making me feel like this person really on the go. Like they, they, not, they not sitting still for nothing. This person want to work with you. That's what they want to do. So maybe they got some type of idea. Maybe they got some type of movie they want you to play in or web series or something to that extent. But this person see you as like picture perfect. So this ain't, this does not have to be a romantic interest, but this can be somebody that's very, um, charming to where it's like, if they fixate on your energy, they figuring out how they can get into your life. Whoever this is, they can be coming off of somebody that's very righteous too, but I don't know why, but I feel like this person, it's the energy of wanting to block you or you guys could be trying to block this person or being defensive to this energy. I don't see you in the energy of defense. But you may be blocking this person off because you could have noticed the pattern in the past when they came down to having this person in your life. Okay? Like you you couldn't gain the sense of success like, or your success started to waver. Or, you know, I don't know. <laughs> it's something to that extent. Let's see why the Six of Wands is in reverse here. I don't know why, but I feel like this person is a false supporter and I don't know why because it seems like whoever this is, they really do like they have a genuine interest in you or admiration for you. But it's per this person is contemplating. Okay, yeah. Aquarius energy. Aquarius and Leo. Somebody just trying to overpower somebody else's intentions. I don't know. I don't know if it, I don't know what the power trip is about. That's what's unclear is this person's motive. It's clear what they're trying to do. This person definitely trying to come back into your life. Okay. Ooh. All right. All right. This deck is kind of big. So I kind of maybe have to break this up or I just can't have these new cards in here because it's making it trip up. Okay, why is the Knight of Cups here? Oh, God, yeah. I told you, this person flighty. <laughs> they definitely flighty. So, I don't care how, like, how this person is coming to express cancer, any type of longevity, or anything that they want to do, it's not going to last. 
because this person they they don't have the stand power here's your energy here they trying to triangulate you with somebody else they may not be telling you that this person get with a libra possibly or another air sign this person got heavy venus placements with taurus and and libra here okay so let's see that's why they so charming or you can have multiple people that's coming in that's on the same tip, okay? Because I was getting at least three people can be like this, and they don't have to be a group. Yes, this person is an energy vampire. They coming back for energy, all right? This person could be coming back from vacation, drained, wanting to... This person is a, a energy thief, an energy harvester that you walked away from, and this person is trying to figure out how they can get back in your life. Mm. don't tell them none of your business whoever this is it's like they use stuff against you this person may try to like minimize your dreams in the most subtle way and that could be the reason why you left them in the past for some odd reason they resurfacing and I was about to say resuffering. So if you are evolving out of a place that this person put you in by projecting specific energies onto you to make you lack belief in belief in yourself or being able to see your true light, being blinded to your own true potential, then that's why this person is coming in so that they can invoke this resuffering over your life. You know, and that's why again, like I said, sometimes people really do mean well. But it's only, I don't know, it's levels to this. It just depends on how far people go when it comes down to this deception. But people like this, I wouldn't let them back. Because a lot of times it's to finish the job or if you already healed and evolved, it's like this person don't want to see you happy. They don't. They don't want to see your dreams coming true. This person gossips about you, you know, and, and it got back to you somehow. You overheard or it got back to you or God gave you a sign or a download or a dream or something. Hmm. I feel like this weekend, <clears throat> it's like pretty much the last weekend that we going to be in Mercury retrograde. Because it should be going direct like la next week. And you just need to show these people that you done for sure. Especially people that was on this tip. Okay, because already like this person is like depleted. They need your energy. They trying to like contemplate on how to keep you trapped and how they keeping you trapped or keeping you contemplating or stuck or whatever is by continuously betraying you. And this person still on that. They can be coming in to apologize all they want, trying to start some new business project or something like that with you. But I feel like it's, I don't know. I feel like this is something that they'll end up retracting or something to that extent or they'll end up going in another direction to try to make you doubt your worth or like, oh, why, why don't this person ever want to work with me? Every time they come up with this idea, why do you even have to do it? You don't have to force anything, Cancer, when you got people that truly support you that's here. Okay, you don't. Let me see if I can turn the light up. I hate when it's dark like this. All right, so let's see what's going on with the Hierophant energy here because God could be sending you all kind of messages like, look, this is a test, you know. You don't want to go back down that road. You don't want to, you know, re... Yeah, whoever this is, it's like y'all definitely got some type of past life history together. All right? Hmm. And like I said, this person is flighty. It says, spreading the love, too friendly, multiple suitors, love is love. You could also have a lot of people that is giving you attention. And like I said, this person can be fixated on you watching that, just trying to kind of come in and step in to confuse you. But this is all about confusion, guys, honestly. Or this can be the type of person that's like into polyamorous because spreading the love... Uh, two friendly, multiple suitors, love is love is love with all of these hearts here. It's coming out on top of the Hierophant. So whoever this is, it's like they could be a past like soulmate and that could be the reason why you feel so drawn back and forth to this individual. But this person may have values that, you know, you don't want to conform to. Why is the fool here? And then even with this fixation energy here, this can be an energy of... Um, 
you know, feeling like you perfect to fit a role or to complete some type of circle or something to that extent. And like I said, didn't I say your guides are like, are you sure you want to do that? Doves all around people here, which is you. Birds are messengers, but specifically doves represent God for me or godly energy, Christ, you know. And then we got Shango and Oshun here. So it's like an uh, ancestors, God, ascended masters. They surrounding you like, listen, this is the final test. Please make sure you pass it. Happiness and success is, a, you know, is afoot. So you don't have to go back to the past and continue to try to make something work that we already showed you. It's going to work. You know, this person is just trying to block, okay? All right, so let's see. <sighs> Why is the Seven of Wands here, Spirit, for Cancer? Yeah, I'm telling you, this person sees you evolving. Something already tried to come out with butterflies on it. It's like this person is trying to protest. This is a past life cycle that needs to be balanced out. Past life karma, yes, like I said, this person trying to put you in a third party situation. This person is only supposed to be looking, which is, which is what they do all the time, but they trying to contemplate how they can keep you stuck in a situation. And for a lot of you, it's to start a business to keep you stuck and for others of you it's like get you pregnant you know some of the they they want to trap you in some kind of way trap you in a contract here okay trap you in a contract make you like sway away from whatever new opportunity got you feeling happy and successful here you know what i'm saying and like <laughs> like putting you in a situation that you don't want to be stuck in because nine times out of ten you know you defensive against this person because they put you in a third party situation already and of course they didn't tell you that of course they didn't so cancer that's y'all energy for the weekend y'all definitely got somebody that's coming in they arrogant they can have you in a third party situation with a libra this person can be like i said a taurus aries aquarius uh leo or a cancer themselves and this person do not want you to complete your goals they don't like for some odd reason that makes them so unhappy you know they could just literally be an agent you know they don't have to have a motive because a lot of people that's out here attacking and gang stalking don't have a reason they just doing it because they evil souls feel led to do it you know what I'm saying? And it just like we feel led to do specific things in our life that's going to help humanity, they feel led to do specific things that's going to keep shit in uproar. You know what I'm saying? So, okay, let's go to Pisces now. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the Nodes. Mm. <laughs> All What's coming in for the weekend vibes for Pisces? Okay, so travel plans are being changed, canceled, delayed. Okay. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Don't be drunk driving out here now. Somebody can be out here speed and drunk driving, get into a car accident. All right. Y'all got to be careful out here. Because I'm getting that somebody can be like driving on recreational drugs. My thing is, and then on top of that, you could be like a, like an actual, like, this could be a part of your job is to drive for some of you. Like you could be, you like working for Uber, Uber Eats, something to that extent. Or hopefully y'all not in the car with somebody that's like that. Because like, let's say you left your car at home. Because you gonna, you knew you was going to be drinking, celebrating with friends and colleagues. Mm. And you could be hopping in the Uber with somebody that's actually, you know what I'm saying? It's like, I needed to designate a driver. That's why I didn't take my car. That might not be for everybody, Pisces, but um, definitely don't be getting behind no wheel this weekend. If you are drinking, if you're going out to celebrate something, it could be somebody's birthday. It could be somebody's bachelor party or bachelorette party. Um, Yes, I'm telling you, it's celebration. 
it's some type of celebration this weekend. For some of y'all, it could even be a date. And I'm just getting somebody driving too fast here. I know it got to be something else other than this. But I'm getting this message for you, Pisces. So make sure, again, it could be somebody's birthday. This could even be a wedding. This three of cups came in reverse too. So it's like all of these drinking cups is in reverse. Like it's like people over, over, over indulging. <sighs> Ten of cups in reverse. Okay, because I'm just seeing those together, the seven and the three of cups in reverse. That's like the ten of cups in reverse. Okay, princess of cups. Yeah, I'm telling you, like you start off with a, uh, what they call it when you when you drinking first. Um, dang, I don't even be hanging out no more. I don't forgot all the nicknames and all this stuff. But when y'all get started before, like I forgot what it's called, y'all. Leave it in the comments. Oh my god, I'm so lame now. Ooh, like when, like, let's say you and your girls going out to the club, but y'all meet up first and y'all start, like, y'all start by taking a couple of shots so y'all can, like, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like, get in the mood to be out. I don't know what it's called. I forgot. <laughs> I don't know why I'm still shuffling either, but I shouldn't have been because I, now I don't know what was at the bottom of the deck. Okay. All right, man. So let's see. Let's see how else this can be interpreted. Any other messages I can be getting from that other than that. But yeah, watch who y'all get in the car with. That's one thing. And watch getting behind the wheel. Because I'm saying for a lot of you, it can be a date. For others of you, it could be a, a big celebration. And it can be as it pertains to something that's going on in your life that's happy. And the deception can definitely be that. Like if it's, you know, uh, this is supposed to be somebody that's licensed to drive. Whether it's a limo driver or Uber driver or something to that extent. And for some of you, that can be you. So please don't. Okay? Because whatever it is that you're doing, it could definitely put you in debt to where, you know... Whatever the case is, you know what I'm saying? You have to pay for somebody else's car to get fixed. You have to pay for your car to get fixed. You have to pay to get out of jail if you get caught drunk driving, okay? And then the responsibility of other people. But it's definitely going to be celebration this weekend. Again, this can be something big and monumental happening in somebody's life. Make sure that you are aware, okay? Why is the chariot in reverse here? Something fell on the floor, guys. One second. Okay. What? Why is the chariot in reverse? Mm. Why is the chariot in reverse? I'm getting you make my heart smile. Oh. Wow, wow, wow. Yes, Akashic Records fell on the floor. I picked it up like, yo, I'm not putting that up here because why do Akashic Records keep coming out? But it could be repeat cycles. This could be repeat cycles, you guys, especially from past lifetimes. Yo, I don't know what's going on here, but um, for others of you, this could be a situation where it's like you moving on now. You got new friends. You can be going on new dates, dating new people, and somebody don't want you to do that. It's like they want you to get rid of all your options for them. This person is very persistent. This person may threaten you or give you some type of ultimatum, especially if you like sent them intimate pictures or videos or something like that. Either this person is like drinking and watching your videos over and over, you know what I'm saying? Or this person can be telling you like, you know what I'm saying? Don't forget that I got these photographs, you know what I'm saying? And with the deception here, this could have been somebody that you never thought would do that because maybe, you know, uh, at one point y'all was in love with each other or whatever the case is. But at the end of the day, it's like you could be moving on from this person, not want to get, take this person back, seeing this person for their true colors. You know, I don't know if this was like long distance, but you may not be coming to see them anymore. Um, Y'all do got a past life, okay? You could have dumped this person because this person was seeing more than you. Once again, y'all. I mean, this is a similar energy, y'all. Uh, you would bring a good vibe to this person's life. That's why they want you around. It's like they wanted to be you and them, but they could have been dealing with multiple people when you was dealing with them. And so you like, why am I going to be hanging around? Yeah, but you was the one with the good vibes. I just keep getting that. 
okay? This person could be childish or I don't know. They could be immature or they could be actually young, okay? So, mm -hmm. death in reverse. Death and rebirth. They coming back before they even change. Like I said, somebody high as hell. This could be recreational drugs for sure. Okay? Because I'm getting hallucination. This person is very angry. I see like this Leo energy as like control. And this is a Leo. This person got two sides to them. Where they in a royalty. Where they can be very, uh, you know, charming or sweet. Or, you know, whatever the case is. And then where they can get really controlling and lose their stuff. Lose they ish, you know what I'm saying? Now, most is here. Why I feel like this person like got a lot of options, but they like you the most. Yeah, you awaken to who this person really was. I'm getting a lot of crown chakra energy, like something came to your intuition about this person. They thought they was getting a one up, or they trying to get a one up. So, hopefully, this person ain't like trying to expose you, but you know. Don't be, yeah. It's like y'all awaken to what this person is doing. What is this pile, this one-up energy? What are they going to try to do? It's just ridiculous. People just be doing the most. If somebody don't want to be with you, just move on. Don't do yourself all of that. Yeah. See, whoever this is, it's like, in reality, they just thought they was going to get one up on you. You caught them slipping some way, somehow. You know, yeah, today rocks. I never want to stop making memories with you. Yeah, they could have been making it seem like they wanted something long term, but they really wanted to just kick it. Like, they could have just been trying to get something out of you, but you caught them before they could do it. You know what I'm saying? Yes, I'm trying to tell you. They just want to say it. Here's the story. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm trying to tell you. This person just wanted to sleep with you. They wanted to have an affair with you. So, they was with somebody else telling you, oh, you know, blah, blah, blah. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> oh, child, these people is crazy these days. This person could have just been in a relationship or whatever. They got multiple people. They could have been telling you, like, oh, they want to spend the rest of their life with you. You so different. You know, you the most what? The most what? <laughs> Why is the most here? You the most. This person, oh, they done told a lot of people about you too. They don't want to be friends on it. All right. You the most different person they ever met. You different and unique. Unique. You know, then I'm getting, once again, um, like you confident, you confident in your uniqueness, like you a real friend, but this person don't want to be on the friend spectrum. They don't appreciate that. Why is the, they just wanted you to be like a little princess of cups on the side, just, yeah, and I'm trying to tell you, I knew this person was a false supporter. It's like this person don't want you to elevate in your career. And they was trying to pretend like they genuinely was supporting you. But they were not. They were trying to slow up your progress. And even if they weren't trying to, their energy just did. Alright? I feel like this person got abandonment issues. And that's the reason why they like really pissed off. Okay? You guys could be getting ready to get a new car. You know, y'all getting out of poverty, y'all, um, or y'all didn't even have to be in poverty, but whatever lack you was feeling, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you didn't have a vehicle, you about to get one. If you was feeling like your bank account was looking kind of de uh, desolate, then it's about to be looking abundant and good. You know what I'm saying? Y'all intuition is heightening here with the cosmic girl. And y'all heart is opening. Y'all not, like, holding on to stuff and being bitter. That's why happy, happiness and success is here. Yeah, this person had a mad slip. That's why you let them go. They try to present themselves as somebody that's sweet. But you could tell, like, this, this is the type of person that would try to break your um, confidence here. All right? So, again, like, some of y'all could be, like, thick or whatever. And even if you ain't thick, you know, this person may try to play on any body image issues that they may think you have. Because maybe they used to date insecure people. Okay? So it don't matter. Yeah, they thought she was going to be a pick Misha for whatever reason. They did. They thought that this was going to be, um, this person name could start with a J. 
uh, this person was hoping that you was like gonna keep on hanging on and holding on to them okay yeah <laughs> yes i'm trying to tell you all right so whoever this is i don't know but they trying to get some type of one up i feel like this person like um because it's like, don't just cover the issue, take care of it. Like, so whoever this is, it's like, they haven't really changed. It's just like, I don't know what they did, but it's like, whatever they did is just like a temporary fix to get you back. So they can act like they changed or something like that, but they didn't. They really didn't. So let's see. Who next, Scorpio? All right, Scorpio, let's see what's coming in for the weekend vibes for y'all, because hopefully, ooh, the four of wands, some of y'all moving, getting a new job, okay, but I'm definitely getting some type of graduation, some of you guys can be graduating, it's definitely a celebration on y'all behalf, this happiness and success, so you could be getting together with family and friends this weekend to celebrate that, ooh, shoot, somebody ain't happy, now I don't know if this y'all actual daddy or if this is somebody that... It's like a husband or a divine masculine in your life or a child's father. But the emperor, I don't know. He don't look too happy, whoever this is. All right. Now, I don't know who was the person that was decept deceptive in your past, but let's see. All right. What's coming in for Scorpio? Whoever this is, they coming in with an apology. All right. I'm hearing redemptions on your mind when you think about me by Drake. Redemption is called... Redemption's on your mind when you think about me. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So this person definitely, like, want to apologize. They want to, like, get out of sorrow and regret with you, okay? This person feel like they wasn't very virtuous in the past. They could have been entertaining other options, chose the wrong path. <laughs> that almost sounded like bars. This person wasn't virtuous in the past they took the wrong path i don't know i forgot what i said rewind it but if you say it fast it's bars so okay so hmm. Mm. it's a lot of people that want to hold on to contracts or re-invoke contracts in y'all life as a whole all right, whoever this person is, they see you as the queen of cups. Like I said, you went through some type of graduation, whether it was a spiritual graduation from an initiation that they possibly put you through. Because in the past, this person definitely had you, um, this person definitely had you in a lot of pain. You could have had a lot of sorrowful days. You know, unfortunately, some of y'all could have even been having, you know, um, suicidal thoughts. You know what I'm saying? Or this could be this person's energy or whatever the case is. Or they could be dealing with somebody that's in that energy because I definitely feel like they went towards somebody that man manipulated the heck out of them. You know, whatever situation they in, they definitely see you as an angel compared to that situation. And they could have been trying to compare this situation before this person wanted to sow their oats. They wanted to definitely look out into the horizon for different people with different people. This person could have actually went off and got married to somebody else. They could have thought this person was their twin flame, okay? Um... But they could be coming back to make things right with you because whatever the case, like I said, this person met they match. You know what I'm saying? Like if they manipulated you out of your love, then somebody else came along and manipulated them out of their love. Like they was cheated. And now this person can see you being happy and successful. Like something of yours is really taking off. Like some of y'all done been to art school, you know, or... uh you know, y'all can be actually having a paint and sit this weekend to celebrate some type of accomplishment. But this person see you as an angel. They actually see you, you know, as a work of art. Somebody that came into their life to actually better their life, help them in some kind of way. And that might not have been what they wanted. You know what I'm saying? And now they do. Okay? With the hierophant here, it's like finally God is getting through to this individual. And they could be mad. They could be mad. They could be feeling like they lost their grip on you because I'm getting an energy that's not very happy. All right? So whoever this is, it's like they definitely can be in an energy of like wanting to break up a situation between you and somebody new, especially if it's like all areas of your life is looking beautiful, like your relationship and everything else. Like whatever this is, it's like... You feel like this person kept you bound to them or um, 
like maybe was dominating you you don't want that it's like you don't want to be tied to the to the devil but i feel like this person is trying to switch teams it's like this person is trying to leave the demonic old dark past behind them and then you know they want a bumba they want to roll with the big boys they want to roll with god team you know what i'm saying so it's just this energy here where this person feel like you can help them in some kind of way. They may see you as like an empress energy. Okay. So let's just go ahead and see what's going on, y'all. Because this this a lot. You know, whoever this is, I can't really see that they took the time to heal themselves. Honestly, I feel like they in a the process of healing. They could be healing. You know, I feel like a lot of stuff they're going to say that they didn't tell you because they didn't want to hurt you. They didn't want to disappoint you. You know, they didn't want to make you feel some kind of way. But at the same time, you know, it, this person was like trying to control you or something. Yeah, word done got around that you're doing real good to this person. And this can be a Leo. Again, why we getting so much Leo energy, y'all? And this person could just have it in their placements. Like, they don't have to be a Leo sun. They could be an Aries or a Taurus. We getting Taurus, heavy Gemini, um, Sagittarius energy here. But yeah, this person done heard through the grapevine that you was doing be well, doing better, that you graduating or you evolving out of the state that they left you in. Because, I mean, honestly, this person could have left you for dead, honestly. Yeah, so this person may want to kick it this weekend. They may try to be making it seem very casual, but honestly, ain't nothing casual about this person. They've been contemplating for a very long time. This person been in their head for a very long time. And as you can see, yes, this is the emperor, but it's looking like it's um the embodiment of the more controlling aspect of the emperor. Not that, you know, not this. <laughs> like husband fatherly like family oriented energy and if they was that i feel like they was that with somebody else okay so let's see why the emperor is here oh so this person had a lot of different options when you was around I'm getting Taste the Rainbow by Curious. But it's in reverse, though. So, I don't know what happened to this individual. Like, I don't know if they, like, needed to go and see if they liked the same sex or something like that. Ooh. <laughs> Let's just get one more. Why is this Taste the Rainbow in top five energy? Ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh. Mm. Hmm. Ooh. This person could have been like under the influence. Like, I don't know if they did that and they was afraid that the gossip was going to get back to you. And that's the reason why they like walked away from you or something. Or that was what they was trying to avoid. This could have been with Aries. I ain't going to lie, y'all. If, if this person try something same sex then it was definitely with a transsexual it wasn't with like you know another masculine man it was with somebody that was dressed up as a woman okay that's not gonna be for everybody of course but there is definitely like bisexual energy here and i don't feel like this person is truly bisexual i feel like this person was either under spell work or they was under uh uh the influence but heavy i don't know like somebody could have been even putting something in a drink because this person is coming up as somebody that's not bisexual and i'm used to seeing like the hierophant in reverse if it's gonna be bisexuality being talked about in a reading but it's not so this person may have been taken advantage of in some kind of way whether it was through spell work or drinks or like intoxication or something like that Cause I feel like a woman did this. I feel like a female Aries did this, or it, it could have been the transsexual energy. Okay, transgender. I'm sorry. Okay, so why is the Three of Swords in reverse? Oh, this person could have been feeling suicidal about that. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm telling you, your ancestors was protecting you because this person, when I say top five, this person at least had other par five other partners. Oh, just do it. And they, oh, that's why. This person could have been doing OnlyFans, so they were gay for pay. Oh, and that was what they was worried about would get back to you. This person was worried about the gossip getting back to you or you finding their OnlyFans or something being exposed to you. So that could have been why they left you alone. All right. Oh, this is a lot, y'all. Why is it three of wands in reverse? Oh, my gosh, y'all. This person was hallucinating. This is not their true nature. They are not gay. You know, but for a period of time, this person could have been on like under the influence to the point where they did not even like women. You get what I'm saying? And again, this could be spell work because this person is called to have some type of protection over them at this time. And I don't know. Like, I don't know if that's you in a life. Oh my God, y'all. Bro. <laughs> Okay, so then this person, oh my God, y'all, <laughs> this is too much. Why, Scorpio? Why y'all got all the crazy ass friends? Somebody was so heavily under the influence that they was like, all like convinced that they were bisexual or gay and they wasn't even like they wasn't even somebody here was not protecting themselves this is no glove no love in reverse it's like down to do it with no you know down to whatever you make my heart smile somebody could even feel like they fell in love with the opposite sex i mean the same sex and they are not gay this person's not gay okay and with which P being in reverse, it actually could have been that, you know, the transgender did some type of sex magic or put them under some type of magic in order to um, get them stuck like this. Here's the story. And then when this person woke up from the spell, like, why the heck I'm with a man? Yeah, this person was harvesting energy, taking energy. This person could have had a, a, remember like last week, I don't even know who reading that was, but we was getting that a masculine energy had a feminine succubus demon attached to them. And I feel like that's why a lot of these men are coming up as bisexual because their bodies are being ruled by feminine like Jezebel spirits that have been attached to them through having sex with Jezebel spirits. These are men that are frequenting, you know, frequenting, uh, you know, paying for sex or escorts or whatever the case is. Like, not trying to disrespect anybody's lifestyle because whatever. But at the same time, this person has been out here, you haven't unprotected. They've been unprotected, okay? It's no protection involved. It's a lot of, like, recreational drugs. It could even be, like, shrooms, DMT, you know, because somebody here, uh, um ayahuasca damn i didn't even know i wrote that okay and uh yeah this person is like on psychedelics they getting on psychedelics or they being slipped psychedelics this person this is a masculine energy that was straight that was being convinced that they were not straight and they was falling for it and i feel like people trying to explain themselves to this person now The Ascended Masters is met, uh, uh, waking this individual up. It was all about energy harvesting. Whoever this is wanted to steal this person's energy. You are my sun, moon, and stars. Oh my God, y'all. Wow. They could have even thought they was in love with this person. Yes, look but don't touch. That's all they can do with you at this point. This person was in like the rock star days of their life, just doing too much partying. Like I said, stuff they wanted to protect you from. But your intuition already let you know what was going on in this person's life. Why it's temperance here. Oh my God, then this person was on coke too? Golly, psychedelics coke. This person was just doing the most. They could have been doing this to like try to be awakened or get to the next level, but this exposed them to more low vibrational energies. Life is about the little moment. This is that yellow energy, okay? Oh, man, y'all. 
Oh, yes, honey. This person been doing the most since they've been away from you. And they kept you at bay because they didn't want to hurt you with the stuff that they was on. And like I said, they either, first of all, this person just mixing, this person probably chemically imbalanced because they mixing too many things inside their body. They mixing they, they mixing their energy with too many people. They're not protecting themselves spiritually or sexually. You know, uh, uh. They giving people access to their energy that's putting them in a position where they they like have an identity crisis and stuff like that, and they waking up from this fog like, oh my god, what am I doing? I'm not even gay, you know what I'm saying? Oh god, y'all, I feel so bad about this because I feel like this person was heavily taken advantage of, heavily sedated all the time, which that was their choice. But at the same time, it's like somebody around them could have been doing spell work to have them under this behavior. Okay. So, sorry, Scorpio, that y'all is so traumatic and dramatic, but, you know, hopefully this helps somebody. Like, share, comment, and subscribe, join the Soul Tribe, and I'll check you guys out on the next one. Peace.